When we talk about population, or more precisely overpopulation, the very first thing that might come in our mind, is the great country of China, and India. Both the countries make almost 38% of the world population. That means every two of the five people on this earth, is either an Indian, or a Chinese. But, have you ever wondered, why is this so? Is it because of the area, of these two gigantic countries, or, as it is well known, that every civilization settles near water supply? So, maybe, these two have the world's largest fresh water supply, or, there is also a possibility that, these two have no other work to do, and they just love to reproduce. So, let's talk about every possible factor, in our new episode, of Stats to Analyze. Let's begin with land area. Undoubtedly, India and China are one of the biggest land masses on Earth. But, when you compare them with others, Russia has almost twice the area of China, and ten times less the population. On other hand, the area of Kazakhstan is almost similar to that of India, but India have 100 times more population than Kazakhstan. So, we can say that area could be an important factor but alone it cannot justify the population of India and China. If not area, then maybe water. Yes, India and China are blessed with some of the biggest rivers in the world, but, they are nowhere close to the ones, which tops the list. So, no, this factor is important to some extent, but, not the reason. Then maybe, because they have nothing else to do, other than to reproduce like rabbits. The population of India and China in the year, 1950, was 359 million and 552 million respectively. And, within seven decades, the population of India and China is 1380 million and 1404 million respectively. Now, let's have a look at the countries, which have the highest fertility rates in the world. First things first. Before we begin with the sparse race, let's clarify the axis to resolve every possible doubt. The left side of the screen is reserved for the flag of the country, and the name of the country is written inside the bars. The color coding is done as per the continent of the country, and the name of the continent is written just below the header. And, the year of survey is written at the southeast corner of the screen. It may be noted that the various sources give various information. But, we try our best, to feed you as accurate information as possible. Just for the record, the advised fertility rate to maintain a population, is 2.1, and in 2020, the fertility rate of India and China is 2.2 and 1.7 respectively, which is almost the advised rate. You haven't found India and China in this list, because the rank of India, and China, is much lower when it comes to fertility rate. So, maybe, this is also not a reason, which can truly justify the overpopulation of India, and China. Even in 1950, India ranked 107 in terms of fertility rate, and China ranked 94. Maybe, we are looking at it the wrong way, before finding out, that why India and China have so much population, let's find out, that when exactly, this problem of India and China actually started. Let's go back 70 years, to understand the problem, of India and China. As soon as the bars start to race each other, the population growth of every country is almost constant. In first two decades, this bars race will go till 2030, following the current trends of population growth, to give us a better picture. Now, moving on. In 1979, China adopted a one-child policy, in short term, which helped China in reducing the fertility rate, but, it gave very bad effects on the population pyramid. The median age of China is almost 37 years, whereas of India, is around 26.8 years, which put the younger generation at a load of heavy tax, to support the elderly. The population of India blasted in coming decades, but, if you look at the big picture, then the population of India and China was already too much when we started this bars race, so, maybe we should go back a little more. Maybe, 2000 years will be a fine duration. 
How is this even possible? Even thousands of years ago, India and China are dominating the list. The current population share of India and China in 20th and 21st century is in fact less than the share thousands of years ago. Earlier they were more than 50% of the world's population. The population of China struggled a lot during the Han Dynasty due to constant wars, even at the change of Sui dynasty and Tang dynasty. The population of China fluctuated tremendously. Meanwhile the population of India grew at steady rate, because of peace and prosperity over the region. The time of Gupta dynasty was even considered as the golden age of India. It was only at this period, when the India was called, the golden bird. As soon as the 19th century started, the India and China lost to Britain. And, this is for the first time, that the population of India fluctuated in thousands of years. This was the time of industrialization. The population of every country increased in this duration. But, as India and China missed this revolution, due to colonization, they started a little late. And this is the only reason why the population of Europe and America boomed in 19th and early 20th century, and the population of India and China boomed in late 20th and 21st century. The reason that India and China are overpopulated now, is because they were populated from thousands of years, and when the sudden improvement of health care happened, their average fertility rate, resulted into overpopulation. Maybe. If we go even back, we will be able to see when did this huge population settled in India and China. Even 7,000 years ago, India and China are leading the list, but not as badly, as they will do, in the coming centuries. From this graph we can easily see, that, when the wheel of time rotated from the age of Ramayana, to the age of Mahabharat, or in more precise words, from 5000 BC, to the 3000 BC, the population of India and China, increased tremendously. The only reason behind this, is a mass migration to India and China. Most of the people, from distant countries, even as far as Greece, and Italy, moved and settled to India and China. Now the question is, why to India, and China? There are many reasons why India and China were the preference of migrants, all over the world. First of all, Indians believe that guests are equivalent to God, and we should treat them as nicely as we can. And other than that, India and China have the best arable land in this world. Even the first university, Nalanda, is in India. It is believed that students from Korea, Japan, China, Indonesia, Turkey, Persia, Greece, and even Italy, came to study here. At its peak, it had more than 10,000 students, which was more than the population of most countries of that time. Even the first surgeons were from India. Indians perfected the plastic surgery long before people knew how to treat loose motions. And most importantly, India and China were the economic hub of the world. The 11th century emperor of China, is believed to have a net worth of 30 trillion dollars and the King Akbar of India had 21 trillion dollars in net worth. 21 trillion dollars, remembered something from 21 trillion dollars, people migrated to India and China, for the same reason they are migrating to United States now. So, in short, India and China is overpopulated because of thousands of years of migration. Whoever visited India, never left. Now, Another question is, will India and China explode due to this ever-growing population? The clear answer is no. If you look closely, then you will notice that the population of China is already decreasing, and the population of India will stabilize, and will start to decrease by 2060. The India and China never exploded with population, because this land had the experience of thousands of years. But, what will happen with Africa? Only the God know. A wise man once said, either we control our population consciously, or the nature will do it in a very cruel manner. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more.